I'm gonna make this S19 go shh. I finally had my AC Infinity inline T8 fan turn up. I've been waiting two or three months for that and I'm gonna pair that with a fruition silencing duct kit. I've got one of the Nord AC Infinity fan controllers here to go into the S19. The fruition instructions are quite detailed. They cover everything and you get all of the parts, screws, if you're not using the Nord Stream kit, they come with fan headers, everything you need. Right, let's get started and refit one of my ASICs. From the AC Infinity box and things we'll be using are the fan, the power cord, a ring to clamp on the ASIC and the USB-C extension lead. All the other bits are surplus. From the fruition kit, we've got the intake side and this will be the exhaust side. People seem to get very excited about the bus bars in the S19s. I've never seen a problem, but the safest way just short the two bus bars out and then you know for sure there's no power charged up between them. I think the system discharges very quickly and probably a lot of the warnings are a bit over the top. That's all the screws and front and back cooling fans removed. Now to disconnect the power supply fans. That's the main power supply fan covers removed and screws. While I'm here, I'm just gonna remove the actual hash boards and give the heat sinks a quick clean out as well. These are the power bus bars and they also need to be disconnected to get the hash boards out.
Now it's time to fit the Nord fan controller. You run the USB cable through the little cutout in the controller case where the fan cables used to go and wrap it around and plug it into the Nord board. Now it's time to take off the power supply cover so we can unplug the power supply fans. I actually had to remove the exhaust to get the last power supply fan out, so when you do it, make sure you take the fans out before putting on the two shrouds. These are the three power supply fans, and we can just unplug these. And you can just leave these sitting here. So now that's the assembled part of the S19. Time to move on to the AC Infinity fan. One end of the fruition kit has all these spreader lines, so that's where the fan attaches. And note the fan has arrows on it. Make sure the arrows point into the S19. I'm gonna put on my ring first, but you could always undo the whole thing completely if you want and put it on afterwards. And now these two simply slide together. I'm gonna to wrap some duct tape around the joint to make it more airtight, but this is just an optional step. I found when tightening this up, it gets tighter, 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 and that just suddenly stops. So that's when I tend to do it up too. There we go, it stopped. It just doesn't want to tighten anymore now. We now plug in the USB cord from the Nord controller into the AC Infinity fan, and we're pretty much all done. The other thing I put on my units are these Vivo Sun uh, coarse filters over the inlets, just to stop bugs and other things like that being sucked in. These filters are washable, so you just rinse them out in water. They do catch a lot of bugs. This is an example of one of the other filters after just one month since it was last washed. S19 go shh.